Good morning, folks. Remember a few days ago, this buoy went a little haywire. Then they turned it off like the four other sites with anomalous readings. Well, it's still off, but its twin buoy was turned back on after about a year of being offline. Interesting article here about the insane precipitation these enduring lows are bringing to southern Europe this month. We've had some 5.9s, 6.0 in Indonesia, but since the eight big quakes during the November 11th to 17th watch period, this is the first significant quake since that watch, actually rang as high as 6.4. Kudos to all those who noticed the double coronal holes, north and south, would not have been enough to call a one-day quake watch without planetary alignments, and the 6.0 rubric is uptick and downturn. If six magnitude quakes were exclusive to any variable, that would have been discovered by now. Big low, North Atlantic, same cyclonic wind and cloud patterns, and a major cooling off coming for Europe over the next six days. Thunderstorms are huddling around the high pressure bubble here, mostly sparing New Zealand. That's fine, they have some volcanoes to worry about. Thunderstorm likelihoods here for the next few days. For those who didn't believe the shear from that west coast storm went all the way across Canada, here you go. Remember four days ago I said if this low pinch is off across the states, it's going to be bad? Well, that pinch has occurred and away we go. Weather Channel now predicting a bad storm to sweep across the states into next week. Things will get bad when the western edge of the low rips freezing northern air down the caboose of the cell. The wind and winter advisories are popping up already. Solar wind speed, temperature and density are all stable and holding, but only for now. The sun, awakened by a heliocentric conjunction of Mercury and Jupiter, began unleashing eruptions of increasing intensity. Beginning with this Hyder flare, a beautiful solar tsunami, the end of that was punctuated by a massive eruption just out of Earth's range. Then you'll remember that sunspot we were focused on began finally living up to its magnetic class. This region is center disk today. It began as a disjointed set of extended little spots and morphed into an integrated bipolar Torre Kong kind of active region with a delta spot in the middle. Her biggest eruption was an M3 solar flare, did push out a sizable CME into space, heading directly for Earth when we combine that with yesterday's eruptions, the set looks like this. Lastly, we have ongoing activity on the southeastern limb, filaments refuse to sit still, got an aurora alert all weekend and a magnetic storm watch at strong levels. These aren't solar kill shots folks, but we'll test our weakening shields and over ionization indices about which we're most concerned. Eyes open, no fear, it's 5.52 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone. <laughs>